All right, so I've spent time with the Legion 5i Pro, which has the i7-12700H and RTX 3060 GPU, as well as the ASUS Republic of Gamers Zephyrus G14 with the latest Ryzen 9 6900HS and the RX 6700S graphics. Now, both of these laptops, in my opinion, are fantastic options. One of the biggest differences, of course, is the large 16-inch screen versus the 14-inch screen. Um, but I just wanted to get this test out before I got the G15 because I wanted to show you guys the performance differences between these two laptops. Okay, first of all, we have the latest 12th gen CPU versus the latest Ryzen 6000 CPU. Second of all, the price difference between the Legion 5i Pro and the Asus Zephyrus G14 is quite substantial. The Asus Zephyrus G14 with the 6700S is about $1,600 versus the Legion 5i Pro, which is around $2,100 to $2,500, depending on when you're watching this video. If you want the live price, you can head down in the description below and click those links. Now let's go ahead and jump in and look at the performance differences. Now looking at Cinebench R20 and R23, you can see that Intel outperforms Ryzen by a substantial amount in both R20 and R23 single core, as well as R23 multi-core. So Intel's definitely stepping up its game in regards to the multi-core and single core performance, especially that we're seeing Ryzen 6000. But the biggest iteration and the newest changes of Ryzen were just announced. And so we'll see what happens when we start to get Ryzen 7000 inside of laptops. But if you need a laptop now, I will say a disclaimer, don't hold your breath. Don't always be waiting for the next thing we're probably only gonna see anywhere from a 20 to a 30% increase in performance at most from Ryzen 6000 to Ryzen 7000. So that's my recommendation. Don't always wait six to 12 months if you need a laptop. Now, technology will always be evolving. Now, getting into Geekbench, you can see that we still have a lead from Intel in both single core and multi-core performance. Now, the multi-core is probably the most surprising because for a long time, Ryzen was leading that multi-core performance, and now Intel has stepped back up into first place. Now looking at Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, and PTC Creo, you can see for Autodesk that the Legion definitely has the advantage over the Zephyrus. However, as we get into PTC Creo, the Zephyrus starts to pick its way up. Now we have a difference here of six gigs of VRAM in the RTX 3060 versus eight gigs of VRAM in the RX 6700S. We see the most meaningful difference in SolidWorks. In SolidWorks, it's not even a competition. We have a 163 versus a 99. So if you're gonna be a SolidWorks user, if you're you know an architecture student or somebody using that program a lot, I would push you towards the Asus Zephyrus G14 for sure. Now you could possibly upgrade this one to the RTX 3070 Ti if that's an option currently when you're watching this video and it might bring your score up substantially to get you a better SolidWorks score. But as we stand with the two laptops in comparison, we're seeing better performance out of the G14. Now looking at After Effects, you can see we have quite a difference here between these two laptops. We have a 795 versus a 907. That's pretty good. It's over 100 points difference. And so if you're a big After Effects user, I would go with the Legion 5i Pro. Now the last benchmark we're going to cover is Photoshop. And the difference between these two is nominal. They're both above 900, which is amazing. You're gonna have no issues inside of Photoshop. They're both fantastic laptops for Photoshop. Now looking at video editing, they both had great performance inside of Premiere Pro. Zero drop frames out of 4K, and then low amount of drop frames for B-RAW and red footage. Um, honestly, the Legion 5i Pro did better in both B-RAW and red footage, but not by a ton, just by a little bit. Now we get into the export times, this is an area that I want to point out is going to be better for the Legion 5i Pro based on thermal temperatures. So the Asus Zephyrus G14 is a hot laptop. It runs in the high 80s and low 90s in regards to the 4K export times and, and you know, B-RAW and red footage would be synonymous with that as well. And so if you want a cool laptop, I would go for the Legion 5i Pro. That Zephyrus G14 is a piping hot laptop. It's not gonna necessarily hurt it, but if you want a laptop that's cooler, if you use a laptop on your lap quite a bit, then you might want a cooler laptop and the Legion 5i Pro will accomplish that for you. However, the both export times are great. Customization in the Lenovo Vantage Center versus customization in the Asus Armory Crate are comparable. They are both fantastic. You have so much control over your CPU and GPU, so really good hands there. However, I will say that if you want better battery life, I'd go with the Asus Zephyrus G14. 
better battery life by a long shot. It allows you to have like on the go productivity like nobody's business. Um, that would be my recommendation as far as that is concerned. Now, checking out the color gamut range between the Legion 5i Pro and the Asus Zephyrus G14, you're gonna have a little bit better color gamut range on the G14. Now, the brightness is gonna be pretty similar between these two laptops, not a huge difference in brightness. Um, but as far as color gamut range, you will notice that the Asus Zephyrus G14 is more color accurate. So that would be my recommendation there. Now, as far as the weight and thickness is concerned, obviously it's a smaller laptop. It's going to be more on the go friendly. So duh there, go for the G14 versus the 16 inch Legion 5i Pro. Overall, both are great laptops. I just wanted to get this 12th gen versus Ryzen 6000 before you so you can kind of see the truth between these two laptops and make a great purchasing decision for yourself. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.